All right, today we're going to talk, be talking about something that everyone is very excited about. I know that you are excited about it. We are talking about rate of change and slope. Rate of change and slope, they are two of the most important things in algebra. Now, rate of change is basically just a ratio. A ratio is something like a fraction or a percent or a decimal. A ratio compares two things. So that's all we're doing from algebra on. Basically what you are doing is you are comparing things. Sometimes you're comparing three things, sometimes you're comparing six things, sometimes you're comparing nine things, but in basic algebra you're comparing two things and it's a ratio. For instance, there's here let's look at two things here. We have green and red. For every two red blocks we have, we have four green blocks. That's simple enough, right? So let's say we added four red blocks. How many green blocks would we have? Very good, we'd have eight green blocks because for every two red blocks we have, we have to have four green blocks. So when we have two sets of red green blocks, that means we're, we're going to have two sets of green blocks as well. So you have four red blocks and eight green blocks. There's an, an For instance, you could think of it the exciting game of World of Warcraft, for instance. Let's think of it in terms of World of Warcraft. Now let's say, just for the argument's sake, that a World of Warcraft costs 40 bucks. We'll just make it an even 40. How much would two World of Warcraft games cost if you wanted to buy two of them? It would cost 80, right? Now if you look at it in terms of a table, it would look something like this. One game would cost 40, you, you'd add 40 more to get two games for 80, you'd add another 40 to get three games for 120, and you'd go up by 40 and you could do that into infinity forever and ever and ever. If you wanted to buy 100 games, you would know how much it costs. And when you're doing algebra, basically what you're doing is you're getting rid of World of Warcraft in price, and you're putting an X for the World of Warcraft, because that's the amount of games you're buying, and then you're putting in Y for the price. So you have X and Y. And to figure out the rate of change, all you do is you take two of them, and you figure out the difference. The difference between two, from 1 to 2 is positive 1. The difference from 40 to 80 is positive 40. That's the difference. And so to find rate of change, you put the change in Y over the change in x. The change in y, like we said, was positive 40, and the change in x was positive 1. And so the slope, or the rate of change, is 40. For every game that we add on, basically, we're paying 40 more bucks. And that is a basic introduction to rate of change and slope.